Graphing systems of inequalities or solving systems of inequalities is a lot like solving systems of equations, just with a little bit of extra butter. We're going to basically be doing the same thing, except instead of a point of intersection, we're going to have a whole region. Let's start by graphing this inequality. y is greater than or equal to 1 half x minus 3. First, we've got our y-intercept at negative 3. We've got a slope of 1 half, that's up 1 over 2. And since this is greater than or equal to, we're going to have a solid line rather than a dotted. And because we're greater than, we're going to be shading above in the plus, the positive direction. Next, we've got y is less than negative x. Since we have no b term, our b or y-intercept is going to be at 0. We've got a slope of negative 1. That's going to be down 1 to the right 1. And this time, since we don't have an equal to sign under the less than, less than we're going to have a dotted line. We could just draw our dotted line right in there. And since we're less than, we're going to be shading down or under in the negative direction. Now, this is where things get good. We can see that we solved our red inequality. We solved our blue inequality. Our overall final answer, the solutions to the systems of inequalities, is going to be where that red and blue overlap. And I'm going to go ahead and shade in my final answer with green because I love avocados. And these, all of these points in here represent solutions to our whole system of inequalities. Just like we did with individual inequalities, we can pick a point and test it to confirm our answer. All right, my friends, happy shading.